Okay, so if you talk about pit bulls killing people at a disproportionate rate, people go into a frenzy. If you say, what about Rottweilers? No, the pit bull people aren't going to rally in and say it's the it, punish the deed, not the breed. They're going to say Rottweilers are mean. There's a reason they kill people, though. They're big, powerful, powerful dogs. It's a force of nature. Once this thing goes into forward motion, you're physically not going to be able to control it. That's the problem. He said, if it gets off away from me, running, chasing something, I'm not going to be able to control it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's what's already happened with this dog. It got loose and started chasing a baby calf around. If you said, well, how's that a, pro how's that a problem? Around these parts, that's license to shoot and kill. <laughs> if he said, if a farmer sees a Rottweiler out there, old Clyde Hart, oh, that's, that's how I had those one Huskies for training. Old Clyde Hart was out there with a fucking rifle or something, trying to shoot that guy Reggie's Huskies that were chasing his cows. If he said he couldn't get a shot, the only reason he couldn't get a shot was they were too close to the cows. Yeah, that's the only reason he couldn't get a shot. That's the only reason is Reggie was able to get out there and get the dogs somehow because the guy couldn't get the shot because they were too fucking close to the cow. He couldn't shoot the dog and shoot the cow too. He had these expensive, I forget what kind of cows they were, but there's, you know, cows are expensive. If you said, well, I'm gonna buy a bunch of cows. I can assure you they're expensive. They're expensive to buy, they're expensive to maintain. It's considered very kosher to shoot dogs that chase livestock. I said, who can I ask, Bre ask Breck about those two Rottweilers that broke into the petting zoo? There's a little law in Florida called shoot, shovel, and shut up. If you said, when does that happen? <laughs> when dogs get into petting zoos and alligators get into your pond. <laughs> I didn't invent the law. I just live in Florida. They're big, powerful dogs. They don't understand any... So if you said they could easily be trained to attack any small moving object. Yeah. He said, how easy? Real fucking easy. If you think that I got a fucking shot if this thing starts attacking me, look at it. This is a freaking pet female. What if this was a big male? The power of this thing. It decided to take all that force and bring it at me. I'm in trouble. He said, what if it tries to take it and take it or towards something else? You'll just be able to shout, stop, Rottweiler, stop. This thing is hyper-engaged to the handler. So I have less likelihood of it becoming engaged with something else. It's hyper-engaged to a handler. It expects the handler to trigger an impulse. You said, what about a squirrel? And I just got that expectation from a squirrel too. But if you said, what's the difference between the handler's impulse and the squirrel's? Mine is much more palpable and the success rate is much higher. It's probably never caught a squirrel. <laughs> it's probably never actually caught a squirrel. So I can use it on the leash. I see it looking at me. I see it looking at me. I'm not going to pat its fucking head. Oh my God, what's going on here? Oh, I can do this for Matthew too. You're holding the leash on. So I'm going to get the leash on here. I'm purposely standing this way so it doesn't have any reaction. You said, should it be excited? No. I'm trying to look away. It's trying to push me out of the way like it used to do Brett. <laughs> ah! That's how I do, that's how I do my training, guys. I got it in one hole and I'm gone. I got it in one hole and I'm gone. But if we have to say, if you say, what do I say when I look at this dog? It's a force of nature. Its level of athleticism is, if what it's giving me, this little show of jumping, is a display of its, le uh, if you said, show me a fast recall, I'm showing you the dead fucking run. It's able to cover an extremely, that's what they're, if you said they're a great big powerhouse built to cover some, like a rhino in a way, a big powerhouse freight train able to cover some ground very, very quickly. It's not got the endurance of some of these others, but it's a, a, it's, it's a 
powerhouse. Yeah, it is. <laughs> All right, hang on. It doesn't do the foot still. But it does the pager leash. And if you said, how is that giving you advantage? I, I, what I don't want to say too is that I'm going to use leash pressure to control you so that as soon as this said leash pressure is gone, you'll be hyper aware of it and hyper aware of my sudden helplessness that my strategy of pulling on your leash is no longer available to me <laughs> because the leash isn't there anymore. So I marry the leash and the pager. It's a pager leash for weak handlers. If you said, well, we're, we're not comfortable with off leash, I'd say good because you're absolutely one of the worst handlers I've ever seen. But the pager leash will is an advancement in a leash. So let's just, instead of you having a normal leash and a rudimentary prong collar, <laughs> let's have this. It's a powerful, powerful dog. So I made sure its foot was off the leash. I wasn't about to untangle it. If you said, where should you pick the leash up? And you gotta be careful, don't bend down with one. That's what I'm about to say, don't bend down with one. If I would have bent down right there, so you're getting the leash though, with, as far away from the handle as. Oh my God! She said, "Tighten this thing up." All right, tighten up, tighten up, tighten up. She said, "You're not acting fast enough." She said, "Try and take charge of you." Oh, it is. Saying, take a little different angle so it doesn't have that. It's trying to do a turn towards right there. He said, I don't like those kind of turns. You're not gonna like this shit then. <laughs> really have a sit. Uh, it doesn't really, I don't teach him to sit. It just, it's Brett probably did though. It worked that time because it was taking a different trajectory. If you said, should you reward the sit? You should. Just don't say sit. that animation. You're not going to like this shit, Ben. <laughs> this isn't for you. I'm leading with this hand here so it knows which way I'm turning. does like this sit, do it as a three action, not three action, but three repetition drill. He said that was only two. I know, but I'm working up to three. <laughs> he said you got a lot of dog on the end of the leash. I know. It turns this way. If you said I don't like that engagement, no shit in for you then. This shit isn't for you. It's gonna gravitate back to the platform. I was gonna go get a drink. If you said, how are you doing? It's hard to explain. I, I, it's normal to me now, but then I just think, well, what if I just went and got one of these dogs out that isn't collar conditioned like this? It's not gonna do that. How would it? How, why would it? It's hyper animating it. I mean, every time I hit the pager, it's hyper animating it. It's on a Pavlovian level, making me look like fucking Pavlov, <laughs> if that makes sense. Hi, Emily. Anyway, girl, I don't know if you're a trainer. Do you want to come on camera? I don't know if you're a trainer, but it's 
anybody should want this level of gauge. If you said, what, what's its down tempo behavior? It, it's got to default down. So if you said you told it to do that, no, no. <laughs> it feels like that's a good, oh, you should, you know, I'm like this, what you need to explain people, just even the pager leash. And these Rottweilers just killed this little baby and this woman just, people are getting killed once a week in America by these dogs. It's, we can't just keep saying, we have to separate ourselves from the emotional. You're able to do that, Mike, I, you know, cause your dad, you were raised that way. It's what it sounds like to me. You, you, we, I don't want the world to be the way it is either, but it's not my opinion that there's two breeds that kill most, most people. The Center for Disease Control keeps statistics, and we're to the point now, there's pictures of every damn dog. All right, so this is an installed behavior too. If you said that, how's that helping me? It's not bouncing off the wall in between while I'm just yakking away, not training. But it's, your drills are very short. Your drills are short, and if you said then what, just add a bunch of them together, then you got yourself an exercise? Yeah. But I am not gonna say to, I understand, if you said I've seen you pull on, I'm sure I have pulled on the leash before. I've always done the, I don't want the leash made tight thing though, so if you said you were always placing the blame elsewhere, sure, that's our human nature. <laughs> it's not my fault, the leash did it, not me. But to not do it on the leash is a disservice to the pager. It's a disservice to the pager, and it's a disservice to the handler. So I'm not trying to get the leash right next to the... <laughs> you have to develop this technique with this dog, trust me. But now I've just got it. Now I'm saying, okay, whoops, hang on. You know, not posturing with the leash. Not yet, though. Not yet. He said, how are you posturing? You're holding just the end of it. If you said, well, you're working the whole leash. Working the whole leash? It's only six feet long. Working the whole leash. Yeah, you're working the whole leash. It's only six feet long. <laughs> so I'm holding just the handle. It's on my feet. Whoops. Hang on. How these things are hanging out. I said, said what? Get it laying down good. <laughs> I'm keeping cadence right there. It understands I'm walking. <laughs> How these I'm keeping cadence with this hand. And then if you saw you're just twirling and all this shit. Oh my god, hang on. Oh, it's ridiculous. My day consists of wrestling with these headphones. If you say, what do you say? Some people don't even have, have the headphones to wrestle with. I'm gonna just, now. Oh, keeping cadence, keeping cadence. Cadence, 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 cadence. If you said you need to, yeah, I could lessen it. But I have to have it. Cadence, 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 cadence. So I don't like those turns. Sure, I like this shit. This isn't for you. Cadence, 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 cadence. You said, what about the sit? It doesn't have a, it's got, it's, it's little best trick is the backing up. You said, how does it know? I heard kind of do my feet. I said, <laughs> Mike's like, oh, she's doing a pretty good job. understand that little foot pause right there though. You said, I don't like the way it's working. Well, you're not gonna like this stuff then. This isn't the training for you. <laughs> Am I right, Mike? If you don't like this engagement level, I've got them, but they fall out of my ears. I, if you said tape them in there, I tried that too. I've actually got them, but they fall out of my ears. So I am against wireless and I will use the good once, even though they're just constantly tangled all day long. But I'm not a professional listener, so if I was, I would have. <laughs> anyway, it is. It's, if you said I can show you what, it's, to me, it's a very, very interesting result. 
it's gonna lay down. It's got the default down. You've got to have that or it's, it isn't gonna, it's gonna get too exhausted. It's, if you said it seems more animated than ever. I know, right? It's, it's just such a, it's just so maniacal about food. If you said do a silent recall, I know. You are looking for a certain angle away, but that's not it. You want it to, okay, it's going out of sight, it's going out of sight. All right, hang on, watch. <laughs> you said, I don't like, well, you're not gonna like this stuff then. I just thought I could hear it when it ran by. Yeah, so could I, so could it. If you said it's gonna lay down. Jesus, Jesus John, stop. If you don't like this level of engagement, I'm just going to tell you right now, this isn't the training for you, because I've got a lot of, I've got to know what I'm going to do with this thing. He's trying to get me to do something. It's a nice dog, though. It's, it really is a nice dog, but it's, if you said, do you notice traits in it that you don't notice in the others? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. If you said, what about any strange dogs? Does it welcome them with open teeth? Oh, yeah. Oh, here, Mike, yeah. Oh, she welcomes them with open teeth. <laughs> That's what you need to say to people. Yes, it welcomes all new dogs with open teeth. <laughs> all right, hang on. It's got to deliver to hand, too. Let me just grab the dumbbell real quick. But it's, it's just a nice, though. It's, you know, it's normal behavior, and I can get it to lay down. You've got to be able to get it to do that. Yeah, it's going to throw a jumper. <laughs> If you saw, no, you saw me. I didn't even flinch as it came at me. Let's get some of these charlatans over here and stand them all in the wrong places. I'll teach the dog to jump at a certain location. I'll draw a circle and have them jump in it, jump in it, and then we have these charlatans stand right there. <laughs> you said, now you're getting mean. It's Facebook. All right, hang on. Let me just grab a dumbbell real quick because it does have a shaped deliver to hand. And it is shaped, but it's kind of transitional at this point. So this dog had a shaped delivery to hand, and it, I remember it was hard to do. It was hard to do because it had gotten in so much trouble for chewing up Breck's shoes and everything, and I did actually end up, even though it had gotten in so much trouble for chewing up shoes and socks, I ended up getting it initially picking up a sock. So you're always saying, what, where did I initially start with the dog? And if I haven't worked it for a while, let's just start there. If you said why, because if it doesn't do that, don't move forward. <laughs> if it wouldn't even pick it up from right here, I wouldn't start with some default delivery drill. All right, so it should have a, it should have a default down. And it should have a default. Okay, I'm sorry, that was actually Carl calling, Carl Lentz. And I was like, oh my God. Anyway, this guy, DT, that bought a black lab from me, Lucy, apparently years ago. Well, it died. It was like 14 years ago. It just now died? Jesus. Anyway, so, all right, we're back to the delivery to hand. So it does that. If you said then what? I say, well, does it go on the platform? Okay, so it does that. I'm not going to just drop something. It's the platform is just helping you. It frustrates me to see people not use it. Even if you just used it for one thing. Uh -oh. You said what happened was the behaviors got a divorce. Yeah. That's what happened. So if you said, what do you do? How do you correct that? You have to say you just modified the drill. <laughs> if you said how? I mean, I don't even know if it ever really did that. I know it did a deliver. I know it would do like a basket drill with the seated handler. So I just resolve it by... <laughs> I just changed the drill. I, there's no tell the dog stop, don't, not with a shade. So anyway, it's just a cool dog. So, But it's a powerful dog. If all its energy was focused at something besides me, 
I might be in trouble. You'd have to say that that seems like a reasonable. If all that energy that this thing has, if you said that this is just the tip of, yeah, that's just the tip of the iceberg of this thing's energy. Come on. So what about you? No, I'm completely exhausted. Having to watch this thing fly through the air. <laughs> Having to dodge this thing flying through the air. <laughs> anyway, let me take a picture and I'll be back. Think of some... Maybe I'll just do a couple more of the pager leash because I'm not going to try to get this animal on a leash and say I'm going to physically pressure this leash to control you, making it painfully, and I mean painfully clear the second it isn't there. And then I'm left with nothing. It's going to lay down. If you said I don't like that engagement, then this isn't for you. Because I'm not even saying anything. You, if you said, oh, you're just shouting at, shouting at the dog. Am I even talking to it? All right, let me get a couple of photos. I'll be right back. If you said, look at his damn Pavlov drool face. Yeah. It's, it didn't present originally with food drive, really. If you said, but it seems like it was dogs with a lot of drive to chase cows. Maybe able to transfer that to their gameness to this food, something. <laughs> On a subconscious level, it's chasing the cow to eat it. It would not eat it. <sighs> so there's never been a case of, they got coyotes getting these calves around here all the time, picking off these little calves. The, the, if the mothers are like too much of like the domestic kind of cow, not like the mean black Angus ones and stuff. Anyway, let me get a couple pictures, Bear.